Hello folks and welcome back to the channel. Well it is here. Phase 2 has updated and let's take a look and see what we have. So right now I'm here in Russia and ah, the Yukon Peninsula. Uh, but before we take a look at that, uh, let's take a look at there we go. So I heard there was going to be some more. Get back over here. So Alaska is now at 96%. So let's take a look and see what they've added to Alaska. <clears throat> so in the contracts, okay, we got three new contracts. We have Order Master Supreme, uh, Cargo Apocalypse, and Cargo Apocalypse Part 2. And they look like they pay pretty good. Uh, let's see if we have any tasks. Actually, let's do it this way. Let's look at all of the contracts and see what all we have that we have not done yet. Okay, so we have Mountain River, White Valley, oh, we have one in Zemnogorsk, we have one in the Rift, and then we have all of our new ones. So let's see if there are any tasks on the old maps. It's a lot of tasks. Duty, duty, duty. Okay, flood foothills, so we have completed all the tasks. Uh, trucks and yeah, we're not worried about contests right now are there any new achievements out here nope no new achievements oh well so we did have well let's go ahead and look at the new map so the Yukon we'll jump over here to flooded foothills and we'll go to our garage. Ooh, one of the new trucks we can get. And I did get on about uh, 15 minutes ago just to take a look and make sure everything updated because my internet's been out for a while. And I did notice we had some new trucks already in the garage. So we'll wait till it gets loaded in here and then we'll take a look at these new trucks. <clears throat> oh, we got the bandit. So let's pull you out and take a look at you. Uh, see what we can do for customization. And yeah, we can put a bigger motor in it. So let's go ahead and do that. Stock suspension. We're going to need some mud tires. Ooh, I like those. And it has chain tires. So let's go ahead and get the mud tires. Get rid of these highway tires. Uh, the winch. We'll go with the advanced medium. Because I have no idea what I'm going to get myself into. And we'll go ahead and get the tall snorkel. 
because I did hear that we're going to have to cross a lot of water and we'll throw the flatbed on there miscellaneous so we have parking lights we can get on it okay not really interested in all of that we'll leave the factory ones on it uh, front bumper so the stock front bumper looks like that Ooh, that's a meaty one and it has lights on it I don't know that one uh, that one looks like it would be good for uh, going over ditches and stuff like that but let's try the one with lights on it uh, because it does have a little bit of a slant to it and we'll give it a try if it doesn't work uh, we can always go back and this ooh. oh that's kind of nice yeah I don't like that that one's not bad don't like that one well, let's go with this one. Oh, wait a minute. I did hear that there were supposed to be some new things that you can get. We'll put our Hawaiian girl in there. Accessories. So, I have not... Ooh, I like the fuzzy dice. I like the monkey, too. Uh, I have purposely, let's go with Fuzzy Dice, not watched any videos, those are still the same stickers, on uh, the new maps because I want to experience them. I want to experience them uh, not knowing anything. I think it's more fun that way. Off-road warrior, uh, but I did inadvertently hear some things like you're gonna have stickers for the outside and some extra stuff with it. We'll go with the mud monster. All right, so that's our new truck. And let's see if there's anything else in the store. Or uh, anything else that was added to us. Now, I did get the Chevy Apache. I have not run it on this profile yet. Yeah, I think these are all my regular trucks. Okay, and uh, remember, this is hardcore mode. Uh, so let's take that out. Oh, I lost the other one. And we'll take the bandit out here in a little... Uh, yeah, let's go ahead and take the... Let's take a look and see. 150 gallons. That's pretty good. Okay, let's take the bandit out. And see what it can do. Uh, you'll be able to add... You'll be able to store any cargo you have with you in temporary storage around the map. This way you can better plan your logistics and transport only things you absolutely need to. You will be able to produce certain types of cargo out of available materials. Just bring the required number and types of crafting materials to a special zone and you will be able to produce the cargo you need to complete your objectives. You will also be able to deconstruct a number of buildings in the region to acquire some of the materials you need. Beware that all the buildings can be destruct. I mean, beware that all the buildings can be deconstructed only once, and the number of materials you can get off it is finite. Okay.
Alright, so let's take a look at our map. Okay, so we have two, three, four watchtowers to take care of. Uh, let's see which one's the closest. Cabin Zone 1. Well, what do you say we just head this way and open that up? So come out of the garage and make a left. And it looks like we're going to need to fix a bridge. So again, I am playing this in my hardcore mode. Whoa. How do you get out of here? Oh, there you go. Uh, which has certain rules. I cannot recover to the garage. I have worked on the rules a little bit, and those of you on YouTube will see the rules. And I meant to print them out, and I forgot to. Ooh, what is that? So we can get steel beams there. I don't want to get anything because I don't want I don't know uh, what I'm going to need because I think this bridge needs to be repaired, and it does. It kind of it didn't look right on the map, so accept it. Start tracking. Oh, I need two metal beams. Ha, that's convenient. So, being in hardcore mode, it means that I must load everything by hand. So... Loading platform. Where's it at? Whoa, what did I just do? Did I just take all of the metal that was there? Hang on a second. Cat, move. Cat decides he wants to jump up and get in front of the TV. Ooh, that's a different type of crane. Attach cargo is not letting me attach. It's crane mode. Why can I not attach cargo? Oh, I get it now. They've changed it. So before I can attach to the cargo, I have to select the top of the winch. Alright, let's get rid of that. Pack the cargo, restore the crane. Hello, cat. Okay, let's take a look. Alright, so the all wheel drive and the diff lock are always on.
Okay, so where can I get more metal? Because there was no more metal there. Warehouse. I got a warehouse there. Can't get them at that one. Metal rolls. That's new. Metal beams. I can get that. Oh. Okay. Metal beams three. Consumables two. Paper rolls. Metal rolls four. Metal beams. So I'm guessing that's all that's there. That in parentheses beside of it, that's all that they have there. That could be interesting. Okay, so this warehouse is where I need to go to. And maybe through here. Alright, let's give that a try. And maybe I should have jumped in here in another profile and figured out how all this stuff works before I tried to do it in hardcore mode. But learning is part of the process. So I need to go down the road. Pretty much continue down this road. I can do that. That's a big pothole. So again, I have not seen any gameplay of these maps. I don't know what the missions are. I don't know the best ways to do them. This is all brand new to me. And like I said, I think that makes it more fun. down there. That is not the one I want. I don't think. That might be a road that leads right to it. I was saying only holds 40 gallons. I did not notice that. I thought it held a lot more than that. Maybe I was looking at Maybe it was in liters. Okay, so that's where I'm heading. Lights don't help. Uh, the Bandit is now one of my favorite trucks now that the biggest engine is awesome. Uh, there's a service hub and refuel in the... There is a service and refuel in the frame add-ons. Okay. So I will check that out. So let's do 
Metal beams. So loading platform for manual loading. Activate our anchors. Go into crane mode. And remember there is a new process. So I gotta select that. Did I get a dot? Oh, I picked it up that time. Okay. Come on, spin around. I think I've gotten a little rusty with the crane. My other pro profiles I've been doing the uh, auto loading. Pack. Restore crane. And let's go build a bridge. Is that snow? I'd still like to see them in uh, the winter regions. Add blizzards. Total whiteouts. You can barely see 10 feet in front of the truck. Come on, you can do it. So I'm assuming the bigger engine will make it more powerful. But I do not like that 40 gallon fuel tank. Definitely have to change some things up on it. down that road. Looks like something that's either under construction or maybe it's something we can deconstruct. Ah, so there's a roof rack you can put on here. So I'll get these delivered and go back to the garage to check it out. I didn't notice a roof rack. Then again, I figured a big truck like this, it wouldn't have a roof rack. That's what I get for assuming something. goes down there. I always like going past the garage because it sounds like ice cream music. Watch. I 
And again, hardcore mode, there is no recovery back to the garage. Cannot use gas stations. Cannot sell vehicles. Cannot buy trailers unless the mission calls for a trailer that is not available. And I have to buy a trailer. Okay, so let's look at these a little more closely. Ah, there we go. Oh, and I keep the crane too. So this gives me 150 repair points, two spare tires, and 37 extra gallons of gas. So I believe well worth the investment. Alright, let's go find us a watchtower. What is that? Some dancing ants, here's a mission. Dump truck for dump truck. Hey there, we need someone to get a new disassembled quarry truck over here. Uh, we'll pull it together, we'll put it together ourselves and you can help yourself to our old one. Just don't forget to fuel it up. Okay. So... Oh, okay, so I guess we've got to do that mission before we get this dump truck. And deliver it here. Okay. What was... Oh, trailer store. Uh, it is in the frame add-ons, and it's the only one in the game. You need a low saddle for the trailer. Okay, let's take a look at it. So deliver to the site, and it is located, oh, it's located over here. Okay, before we get it, let's get the watchtower up here. So that I can see what's around it. Tower was way up here. Well, I guess we'll go over and take a look at this first. So I'm assuming this means deconstruction. So de deconstruct all of that stuff. Good bricks here. Yep, bricks. Brick building, so I figure you get bricks there. Yeah, 
Dab mud will throw you around a little bit. And I'm assuming wood. Well, I kind of figured there'd be a road going to the left back here, heading toward the watchtower. Right, I went ahead and got a low saddle on here. So what can I get here? Metal beams. Ah, that looks like a dump truck. Bricks, consumables, metal beams, cement, fuel, small pipes, metal rolls. Get a lot of stuff there. Full service warehouse. Everything's in stock. COVID hasn't hit here yet. All right, let's jump back to the garage. Oh, past it. <laughs> Too many things to look at. Uh, truck storage. Let's bring, because I want to try something different. I need something with a low saddle. And these are all I have at the moment. I would love to get rid of that piece of junk. But in the hardcore mode, I cannot sell trucks. Which is why I have some trucks I don't like. Alright, let's go with the Western Star. See how it does. And... Go down here, take that off, take that off, and go with the low, go with the low saddle. It's a little bit sticky. But nothing the Western Star can't handle. Until I get that big trailer hooked up. Then we'll see. What's wrong, buddy? Been doing a lot of uh, the speed run, and I've had this truck painted in the blue. Let's 
special paint scheme. And oh, duh. And I don't think I like the special paint scheme. I've tried it, and I still like the truck in black. But it pulled through it in high gear, so. got to take you to the site near the garage. Okay, so back where we were. That's what I thought, but I want to make sure. Is this a... Uh, it's like a Oh, it's the gooseneck truck. Little bit of speed. Load might be, yeah, it is. It's too heavy to run in high gear. I don't think I want to take it around this mud hole because I don't know how top heavy it is. Besides, I want to see if it can go through the mud hole. Wow, this is a heavy load. So you can see how bad it was dragging. Oh, we got sunshine. Nope, not that one. Nope, not that one. Yeah, that one. Bottom the trailer out. Yeah, I think I did. Okay. I'm not sure, but I don't think I have the heavy winch on here. I need to check that when I get back to the garage.
little more solid over here. Nope, still not going to go in high. I did hear somebody say the other night that uh, if you unpack cargo on a trailer, then even though it's still on the trailer, the game thinks the trailer's empty and you can move better through muddy areas but I don't think I would want to chance that ah somebody wanting to know if I want to be famous nope I am not going to buy viewers I was just going back to look, see how much that was hanging over. Just scan the tree. Let's cross over, see if we can get some a little more solid ground. Alright, destination up ahead. automatic nope I really hope the whole map is not like this this muddy I've said it before they don't need to make the roads harder they need to make the missions harder It'll take longer to do the missions Because if they do crap like a Mondra again, I don't know if I'd want to play it. Right throw a winch from the back of the trailer on that telephone pole. Now we're moving. Stage complete. Now we have to refuel the caterpillar. So let's park you over here. And go into the garage. And I think I had something that had a fuel tank on it. Yeah, right there.
Alright, caterpillar belongs to us. Uh, since I'm here, let's see if it needs any repairs. Nope, looks good. And see what we can do. I still have 93,000. Put a big engine in it. It comes with one set of tires. Default winch. And either a saddle high or wow. It's a big fuel tank. Uh, oh, 529 gallons. So let's just go with the right now the heavy saddle. I don't know. Well, I know a way to find out. Though. But see, I don't know what kind of trailer I can pull with it. Turn. Okay, that's going to take some getting used to. nothing okay nope shoot I saw it just as I exited the garage that I still have the flatbed on here Okay, mud tires on it. So I think I'm going to run this one uh, to open up the map. It's a little faster than the other one. And we'll see how this does on the map. Plus, I might run into something that needs repairs or fuel. Yeah, so got a comment, that's the worst looking scam I've ever seen. Yeah, me too. Hitting them over and over and over. Every time I log on here, I get that same scam. Okay. Maybe up here? Let's try that. Looks like it might be a road. So I keep forgetting to put it in. Yeah, it's a road. And uh, all wheel drive because uh, it might be a road. Because I've been running in, last couple of days, running in uh, Tamir, and I'm using Russian trucks, and they are all, all the ones I'm using are automatic, automatically in four-wheel drive. So I keep forgetting to put the American trucks in four-wheel drive. Oh, come on, you can climb out of
There you go. And we got snow and the higher elevations. Alright, so where am I at now? Don't know if that's a road or not. But let's go over and check this out. Kind of thought that'd be pretty deep. Okay, looks like we can get some wood. Anything else up here? Let's screw on my camera. That might be a way out or the road. I was looking forward and wasn't looking to my side. So that will take, I don't know. Let's try it out, explore. further to the right got a house over there I don't see any trailers in there Got a mission. Dancing ants. Where'd they go? There they are. So, hello, wanderer. I have recently moved from the frosty top of the hill closer to the water, and I have nothing to my old broken truck here. Will you help me? Of course I will. Oh. I think that's the old truck. Looks like an old truck. Let's start tracking it. Yep, so that one to the house in the valley. Okay, but I still need to get up here. Maybe up through here. Is that possible? Let's try to get up through here. If we can't, over here. But I don't see any way up out of here. And, since I'm going to head back down a little way, I'm going to tow this part of the way. And of course it's out of fuel. You're not gone.
Shoot. Hey, it was like this when I found it. Get off me. So I think I wanted to try to go up through here. Just drop a marker. I need to get these beacons off. It drives me crazy. Is that the watchtower? Red lights. Looks like a watchtower. And it looks like I can get up through there, maybe. Probably a much better way to get up here. I just don't know it. Upgrade. I like upgrades. Abandoned trailer. I should have went over there too. So the upgrade's way over here. Support the meteorologist. Let's 
assuming I can go down here and cut across and go over. Let's give it a try. And let's see what that one is. We sometimes race here with the guys. Try it. So, contest. Down. Reach the downhill. No point. I don't see anything that says downhill point and it's not showing it to me. That's alright. Do that yet anyway. I'm gonna head over to here. So let's see if we can get down there first. I would assume it's going down here. Whoa, that's ice. Ice, ice, ice. I hate how they have the black thing there showing me the F750. Screws with the camera. I might be able to get around it. Go down this way. Or maybe I should have took this way. Looks like I might come through here, so let's try that. If I can get over there. rocks oh there's a road yeah what do you know all right so I've been 65 minutes and I'm going to end the video for the YouTube but I'm going to keep going on twitch so for those of y'all watching this on YouTube uh, let me know how I'm doing in the comments and let me know what I can do better and now I'm lost and I will see you in the next one I think I might want to try through here